hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am going to discuss about the wireshark and i'll discuss how you can how we can analyze the sip calls in wireshark like if you are facing any issues with the voice or with the calls with the audio calls and if you are facing any issues with the uh, I can say call failed or any other things, then you can just take a packet capture through sniffer and then you can capture the TCAP files and then open it in Wireshark and then we can analyze those zip calls. So how we can analyze these calls in Wireshark, I am going step by step. So first thing, whenever you are facing a problem like call failed or no audio in zip, usually you need to get the PCAP dump file through the sniffer and then you can check the packets so before going to wireshark let me just uh, give you a brief about the filter expression of wireshark how you can filter your calls on the wireshark so your pcap dump file it contains the protocols which travels the network card and wireshark has expressions to filter those packets so that you can display the particular message for the particular protocols and these are the most common messages the most common filter expressions we are gonna use like First, you can see this is the SIP. It will filter the SIP protocol. Then we have RTP. It will filter the RTP stream. RTCP, it will filter the RTCP packets. Then we have RTCP, RTP event, IP address, source port, destination port, and the DNS. Right? It will filter like DNS protocol. So with the help of these filter, with the help of these expressions in the Wireshark, you can filter your call which is like uh, on which you just took the traces like you can just filter it out with the help of these filter expressions right so first thing like whenever you are capturing the uh, the call you need to open the pcap file the pcap dump file on the wireshark right and here you can see it will show every detail of that pcap dump file now you can filter it out with the help of the SIP, if you just filter it out with SIP, it will show the SIP calls. If you filter it out like uh, this, including RTP, then it will show the RTP stream as well. I'll show it to you in one go on the Wireshark. So first is this SIP RTP it is showing up. The next thing, it's saying Wireshark is having so many filters. Actually, it was just the one which I just showed it to you. Most common is SIP dot method and SIP dot call ID. Here you can see sip.method, it's invite, then it is coming the invite messages. Sip.method, sip.method. Here you can see use call ID to filter one particular SIP call. That is sip.call ID. You can filter it via this way as well. Here you can see these are, there are so many things with the help of this expression. You can filter so many things. Like the first it was showing sip.method equals to invite sip.accept and then the most important like sip.csec as well, sip.call id as well, sip.contact header as well. So if you want to filter it out in this way, you can filter out the expressions in this way as well, right? Then we have this thing that is we can also filter with some special parameter in the packet through the option prepare a filter and select the parameter you want and then right click then you can use the menu display where you can just like uh, if you selected anyone like this invite message if you select this one it will show up here in the request line there is a method and if you click right click on that method invite click on prepare a filter and if you click on this select it then it will filter it out this method invite here and you will see the option here it just filter it out with the help of this one, this method, right? Next one, that is SIP call analysis. Before going to this next step, how we can do the SIP call analysis, let me show it to you these things on the Wireshark, right? So this is my PCAP file, which I already opened on the Wireshark. And if I am just clicking, I am just entering SIP and enter it. It is just filtering, filtering it out the SIP calls. And if I just close it, then enter it, then you can see it's showing everything. SIP, SGP, Telnet, UDP, RTP, SNMP, TCP, HTTP, everything is showing up here, right? Now, if I am just hitting SIP 
it will show me the zip files and here let me tell you one thing this one here you can see this is udp this is this is showing source port destination port and if i talk about this session initiation protocol what i was discussing in the slide request line first it is showing method invite then we have request uri it sends me the details then we have message header that means all the headers is coming up over here via header from header to header call id which is very important in uh, finding out the particular call then csec number contact header content type and the content length and in the message body you can see this session description protocol and once i expand this one you will be able to see the media details here you can see media whether it is an audio call or video call this is the media port this is the rtp or evp these are your codecs a1340 here you can see this media attribute 8 that's a g711 alo and sample rate is 8000 here you can see this is 729 this is 723 this is 711 mulo and then we have media attribute that is send receive that means it is sending and receiving the things right now let me just filter it out just not only just the sip let me filter it out the rtp right now you can see it is filtering it out sip as well as rtp stream correct here you can see all the things sip rtp sip sdp right now the next thing what i need to do i need if i just click on this one sip sdp invite message i will go to this invite and what i do i will prepare a filter i will just right click on this one click on prepare as a filter and then select if i click on selected then it will come up over here right sip dot method equals to invite and i can enter it. right so it is coming up over here with the invite message right and if i again click this one say rtp it is coming up over here now right and one thing uh if i just click on this one sip dot it will generate so many things which we can filter right if i am just if i just wanted to filter it like this way sip dot method equals to invite right this one i already used it earlier that's why it is coming up over here sip dot method equals to invite then it will just show the invite messages right it's just the same way but with what i did for the invite message as a prepare as a filter right if you want to prepare filter as this uh, 200 ok message let me just go to the method saying session initiation protocol message body and where is the method session line response time message header is showing i'm on 200 okay okay so method is in white and if i want to filter it out on any other thing like uh, let's say this one again and if i filter it out on this one call id I can click on this one, prepare as a filter, and if I select this, it will come up over here, save.call ID and enter it. So now it is coming up. It is showing me the things which have this call ID, right? So on this sip dot method, you will be able to see so many things. Sip dot call ID, you can see sip dot method register. Now you can see sip dot accept here as well, sip dot csec as well. If you can see csec you can see the csec messages right so here you can see dot csec dot method dot sequence number you can write it down you can write so in this way you can filter out the things on the wireshark right so let's move on to the next step in slide and then we'll come back on this wireshark next step is sip call analysis so first is list zip calls how you can list the zip calls go to this telephony and VoIP call then we will be able to see the zip call list i will uh, show it to you on the wireshark right and then you need to select the calls which you want to check and then if you want to see the call flow sequence that option will become available when you select it right and it will show the zip signaling flow direction and the codec of rtp stream 
like this. This is the your IP 192.168.9.20. This is your destination. So for this, this is the source, this is destination. If we talk about this thing, this is the source, this is the destination. If we talk about this one, this is the source, this is the destination. Here you can see like in white message is coming, which is using Opus, G711A, Mu. These are using this one. And it is saying 401 unauthorized technologies. Then it will send invite again after authentication, after sending the password or pin, what it is sending. Then it will just send 100 trying, then invite is coming up. Invite is going over on this 9.201. Then if everything is good, then it will go to this, like you can say RTP stream is established between these two. Then RTP stream is coming up like from 201 to 18. So everything like it is showing up in sequence. If you know about SIP things, how the call flow, how the messages work, then you will be easily able to understand these things, right? This call flow. I will show it to you by going to the this telephony and VoIP calls. Next thing. If you want to filter one SIP call in SIP protocol, we can you can use call ID from tag to tag to identify a call. Usually SIP entity will generate the random call ID string for each call. So we can mark one SIP call with a call ID parameter. I think I already showed it to you how you can filter it out with the help of call ID parameter. You can even filter it out with the help of color coding also. Right like this way. Earlier, I clicked on call ID and then I clicked on prepare as filter so that it was showing me. It was just showing me that call ID, right? And now if I filter it out, if I just clicked on this uh, colorize with filter and click on this color one, two, three or anyone, then it will show every call ID, but it will filter it out with the color coding for that call, which I selected here for that call ID, which I selected, right? Next thing, SIP headers. Now, enable display raw, this one display raw text for SIP messages so that we don't need to expand every SIP header or SDP parameters. This is the protocol preference actually, right? So let me just show it to you these things on the Wireshark, right? Okay, so here we have already, we have this thing that is SIP. RTP stream, which I already discussed it earlier. So we earlier we filtered it out uh, with the help of RTP and I prepared it with the uh, I filtered it out with the help of SIP dot method equals to invite. Then I uh, showed it to you as a call ID filter. Right now, let me go to this telephony VoIP calls. And here you can see these are the three VoIP calls that is showing start time, stop time, initial speaker from ID and to ID, like from header and to header from where the call is going and to where the call is going. Protocol, SIP, MGCP, duration, package, state, and the comments. So it is showing me all these things, right? Now I wanted to see the flow sequence for these things. Let me select one. And here you can see if I'm not selecting, you can see this prepare filter flow sequence and play streams are grayed out. If I select it, then it will becomes available. So now what I need to check, I need to use the flow sequence. Let me click on that flow sequence. And here you can see it is showing me the call flow diagram. Here you can see this is the source port, destination port, source IP, destination IP. For this one, source IP, destination IP, right? So you can see it up here, invite is coming. Invite SDP if you want to zoom in, let me just zoom in. Not this one, let me just zoom out. Everything, can I do it? No. So now you can see, let me zoom in again. Now you will be able to easily see. So it invite is coming from this, G711 A2923 G711 Mulo, right? It is coming up over here. It's just the same. It's just a normal call flow. You can say invite. If invite is sending SDP, that means it is an early offer, right? 
and now it is getting 100 trying 180 ringing and the 200 okay now the codec negotiates here and here you can see the rtp will going to this one and then the rtp will coming from this one because he already acknowledged it right so this is the main call flow sequence diagram how you can uh, check the calls clearly right if i click on this one you can do so many things like reset it move right move left so these are the things which are coming up over here right so it's actually very easy if if you are just uh, troubleshooting it with the help of call flow diagram because it will show you unauthorized message and all other things as well so if i click on the second one and click on flow sequence you can see it's a different one it's notifying it notification request crcx rtp stream it is showing up like this if i check the third one that was mgcp now click on m uh, sip and if i click on flow sequence here you can see invite 100 trying and 180 ringing only right so that depends on the call whether that call setup is already did like rtp stream is there like if they place a call on hold as well so it will show you everything in this flow sequence diagram right so let me just close this one next thing i wanted to show it to you as the prepare a filter right if i just use this one sip sgp invite and let me check it for the call id right so let me check where is the call id here you can see the call id number let me just right click on it and then colorize with filter and let me color it in this way here you can see this is the color filter which is showing up here that means it contains the same call id which i selected here right i hope you understand and then the next thing is i need to display raw text again right click on it protocol preferences it's already clicked over there. if i just unchecked it that means a different thing i because i already used it earlier so that's why i checked it so you how you need to do you just need to right click on it protocol preferences and click on display raw text for sip messages so that you don't need to expand it every time right now the next thing is there are two parts in the sip invite request i believe we already actually discussed about it right so there are two parts in the sip invite request sip headers and the sdp right important things in the sip headers are from to and the contact header right from to and contact header from is caller uri to is destination of the call and contact header is the address for the subsequent request right contact header is mainly for the subsequent request then we have some important parameters in sdp as well right media line that is first one that m contains media whether it's an audio call or video call port number rtp avp these are the codec details i already discussed about it then we have the media direction so a equals to send receive that means it is sending as well as receiving it if it is send only that means it's just send it receive only it just receives it send only and receive only comes whenever you are placing a call on hold right then we have this codec thing a equals to rtp map one two three opus and forty eight thousand then we have the speed time right next thing what it's showing up here the invite the headers are there in the invite message and these are the sdp this is the invite message this is the sdp message in invite as you can see via max forwards from to contact call id csec number everything is showing up here right and this sdp it's showing like oh uh, that means you can say this v version origin m equals to media files then we have ip address and all these things right next thing is rtp analysis so whenever we are having a voice issue we could check the following problems with the wireshark and what all are the things we can check right it first we need to do whether the rtp stream exists or not and if it exists is the rtp stream sent and receive on the right ip address and port number and we need to check also the rtp stream be decoded in the right codec or not 
and is the RTP stream be sent with the right P time, right? How you can do that? You can filter the RTP stream, use RTP as an expression. We already did that. On the SIP call flow graph, we can check RTP direction and codec. We already checked it where the codecs are going, where the things are going, like invite message, 200 OK message, 180 ringing message, right? Next thing, you can use the RTP streams method in the, under the telephony. I'll show it to you. Then you will be able to see all these things, source port, destination port, payload, delta, jitter packets. You will be able to see it under the RTP streams, right? Like this. If I filter it out with the help of RTP stream, you can see it will show you the RTP streams. If you select it, then these options will become available. Right. And how could you know which stream is the one you want to check on the SIP call flow graph? You can see the source port and destination port of one RTP stream, right? There were three calls. When I selected analyze call flow, call flow diagram, it was showing me source port and destination port or the media line and the media line of SDP message in invite or 200 OK messages. Now you want to decode UDP packets as well to RTP. As we know, RTP usually uses UDP transport. And when the SIP call flow in the KPAP file, PCAP file is incomplete, the Wireshark may not pass the UDP packets to RTP stream. So that, so at that point of time, we can decode the UDP packets to RTP manually. I'll show it to you how we can do that. So what are the things we need to check? We need to filter the RTP stream. We need to decode the packets, right? How you can decode it? Just select the UDP packet, click on decode as, and then you can choose this current RTP and click on OK, right? This play RTP stream would be the next step. Now, if you want to play it for now, Wireshark only supports this one and select and play stream in the call list. So when you open this VoIP calls, you will be able to see the VoIP calls. You can play streams. Once you click on play streams, you will be able to see these things and you can select on any one RTP stream, analyze it, you will be able to see these packet captures, maximum delta, jitter, and everything. Then you will see, we can see the RTP player after click the play stream button. Play stream button is here. And then you will be able to see the stream is playing up, right? So now let me show it to you on the Wireshark, right? So this one, the last thing which I did was just colorize the filter. Now let me show you by going to this telephony and the VoIP calls. Oh, we already did that. We already uh, checked the flow sequence, right? Now let me show you the one thing first and then we'll go to the VoIP calls again. This RTP stream, telephony under, under the telephony, you will find RTP, then click on RTP streams. Here you can see the three streams are coming up over here, right? Now how you can, check it how you can analyze it first you can do it in this way by going to telephony VoIP calls select all and then once you click on the play streams you can see it up here it is showing me the streams and then if i click on if i just select this one and i click on play actually it is coming up on my headphone here you can see it is running Right, so that means it is coming. If I click on this one, you will be able to see again. Here you can see it, right? So th this way we can play the RTP stream. Now we can, and if we want to analyze the, that RTP stream where we can check the uh, maximum jitter and all, go to this telephony, RTP, RTP streams, select it, then you can click on analyze. Here you can see, it is showing me the maximum delta, maximum jitter, sequence errors, start at duration. So now it is showing me all these things. If I click on this one, like this one, play stream, it will show me this thing. And if I click on the play, it will play it up here as well, right? So now I just clicked on the RTP stream. Earlier I was playing that via telephony VoIP calls, right? So I hope these things are clear to you. If you have any doubts, anything, just let me know. Just one thing which I forgot to show you, like how we can decode the UDP packets. So for that, 
just filter out, filter it out the UDP SIP UDP. Here you can see you have this UDP packets. And if I just click on this one, right click on it, you can see decode as and click on that. You will be able to see this current and the next one. Let me just select this one as RTP. RTP. Click on this one and OK. Right. So now these packets are also filtering, filtering, filtering it as RTP. Decoding it as RTP. You remember I just clicked on this one. Right. So it is filtering it, decoding it as RTP as well. Right. So I hope these things are clear to you. Let me check if I forgot anything to show it to you. I showed your decoding thing. I showed it to you. Uh, these RTP streams. I showed it to you. This invite and the SIP uh, SDP messages. Yeah. So I have showed you everything on the Wireshark as well. How you can play it, how you can decode it, how you can colorize it. How you can filter it like SIP, RTP, UDP, SIP dot method, everything I showed it up to you, right? So I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any doubts or queries, you can just let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer all the queries. And if you want to schedule some time with me, then you can go to this top med.io slash technical venture. And if you want to join my membership, then you can just go to YouTube and Click on join, then you will be able to see all the perks and everything which is showing up here, right? And if you really like this video, then please like, share and subscribe it and press the bell icon. And please, please do share this with your friends as well. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be able to receive all the notifications of my upcoming videos. Thank you.